Sean, what are we doing today? Hauling hay. Yeah, hauling hay. And it's snowing like crazy. Of course, the day we start to haul hay, it starts just snowing. And the snow is not very good for that uh, Freightliner truck because it likes to spin on that snow. I've got the dually, the trailer. That don't bother me. And we've also got the flat deck GMC. Is that at 8500 or 7500? 75, Sean says. And Dad is loading. And if your dad is not careful, he's going to dump a bale on top of the cab. This loader doesn't have self-leveling. Actually, you can't really see the snow on the camera. You can see it now, when you go against the trees, that it's really coming down. Really not that cold though. It's what's your what does your truck say? <laughs> Mine says minus four, but it doesn't seem that cold. But it seems cold. So I don't know. Yeah, Dad needs a little work on that loader. He's not used to that tractor with that style of fork, which I hate that fork too. The spears are made out of uh, 2 and 3 eighths pipe, and it's too thick. And they're hollow, so that's why they, uh, that's why they always crack. And I welded that one this morning, as you probably saw on my Instagram. But we've got 66 home so far and that'll be another load of 22 we're not double decking because we're not tying them down so Sean hauls 11 and I haul 11 So, I'm loaded now with 11 rolls. Sean's got 11 rolls and the liner took off with 22. And uh, this is the bales off that newly purchased land that uh, I acquired. And we have to cross the, our rental land to get to it. So you see the hunters were driving through here when it was wet and they just made a bunch of ruts. Not too rough because it's froze. But I gotta get through this trail before mom was supposed to come and give us sandwiches. But if you meet up with someone on this trail, I sure as hell ain't oh, backing up. Cause I'll be stuck with this snow now. I've already spun out on this hill with the liner right here. But you can't even tell anymore the snow snow's covered it up so a little bit rough this trail this is the only other hill I don't have to worry I don't really have to worry in this truck it makes it up here it's not really that much of a hill there I'm in the clear so I have about seven miles to go, seven or eight miles. And I'll uh, see you when we unload. Well, you can see the bale stack is getting bigger. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows of approximately 75 bales. Usually we go a little bit farther out. We try to get 100 in each row. That uh, high, uh, high boy can haul 22 rolls, single decked on top. And me and Sean both haul 11. I can haul 14, 
on my gooseneck trailer if I had the little pipe extension on the back, but I haven't had time to haven't had time to make it, so I probably won't end up not putting it on. We're hauling from our farthest fields first. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Lori's unloading. The MX is working quite well. Oil pan is holding up good. The joystick is nice. Working well. A lot better than before with the new cable. So we have about... Uh, well, we're about a quarter done hauling hay now. There's probably... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a good, there's over 500 rolls here now. Most of these will be gone by spring. We're also going to stack, this is uh, the bale yard that everybody's usually been seeing, but we're going to stack about 300 by the cattle, so we don't, well, what we usually did was we, when we had to feed, because the cattle are at the other place, and then come January, Oh, he's going to do that the way I taught him to do that. Yep. 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 Sometimes it works. They all fell off the other side. Tell them to go faster. You gotta lift it up just a little bit, crank your wheels the other way, and and uh, give her. And then the bale usually rolls down to the bottom, and you can grab it. Glory doesn't unload much, so he's gonna go around and get it. For that. Oh no. I should move this truck up. Oh, fell down. Every time I get in here they never put the steering wheel up. the other bale too. Caught the bale underneath on the side. He's gonna go get it. This was a custom made uh, bale rack. Uh, we didn't make it, we bought it with the high boy. It came with the high boy. It's all right, but I really don't like how they have it raised up because it tilts the bales in too much. It's a little bit too much. And when you load this side first, the bales are down. And then when you load the other side, the bales can't go down so they get caught on that side and makes it hard for the top bales. That's what happened to your top bale. It kind of sits at an angle, so. Oh, he's going to start another stack over there. Well, you should have finished this one off. Oh, well. Anyway, that's just another day of hauling hay. We should be done in another week. And 
and all we have to do is sell calves after that and then maybe deal with manure. It's kind of froze now, but if we can deal with it, it'll be okay. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you click, click subscribe for more and leave your comments on the bottom and I will answer them to any questions you guys have and gals. And yeah, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.